Good day everyone. So this day we are going to discuss about lesson number 2 under module 1 or week 1 which is all about the basic concepts and issues of human development. So of course before we were discuss the basic concepts and issues of human development, let's have first the different learning outcomes under in this lesson. So first at the end of this lesson, you as students are expected to of course define human development in your own words because in this lesson we were going to um define or describe what is human development um the difference between development and growth and lastly is you're going to distinguish between the traditional and lifespan approach of development because there are two approaches of development and these are the traditional and lifespan so you're going to differentiate the two approaches okay so to start with i have here a quotation from a very well-known um philosophers william shakespeare so all the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players they have their exits and their entrances and man in his time plays many parts his acts being seven ages so in this lesson we will learn the eight stages according to Sandtrack and six stages according to Havergurst and according to William Shakespeare we are merely prayers, players rather in this world so we have our exit and we have also our entrances and we play our different roles in our lives okay so I have here pictures of two boys here are the pictures of a five-year-old Kian and a one-year-old Brian each one is a bundle of possibilities, so please observe the pictures of Kian and Brian. Describe what they are wearing before birth or their point of origin and how they will possibly be after birth and to adulthood. So, what do you think will they possibly become in the future? Okay? So, after listing all your predictions, answer the following questions. So when you gave your own predictions as to the kind of child, adolescent, and adult Kian and Brian may become and hypothesize on how they are once were, you were referring to human development. So from this point, what then is development for you? What is growth? And of course, what is human development? So let's start defining what is growth and development so when we say growth class it refers to the increase in physical size of a whole or any of its parts or an increase in number and size of cells then please take note that growth can be measured so of course a perfect example of growth is the increased size of um, height and the increased um, weight of a child then another is development so when we say development it is a continuous orderly series of conditions that leads to activities new motives for activities and patterns of behavior so unlike growth development cannot be measured class so anything that happened to us in terms of series of conditions that leads to activities like um the different skills in reading and writing we need we know how to read we know how to write we know how to walk when we were a child so these those um things refer to development so again the deve development cannot be measured unlike with growth okay so we're done defining human um rather growth and development so this time we're going to define human development so when we say human development, it is the pattern of movement or change that begins at conception as what we have observed in this picture below and continues through the lifespan. And it includes growth and decline. So when we say growth, it is the positive and when we say decline, the negative. So like when we grow older, we have the growth, we, we have the positive changes in our body. And when we, and we grow older um, during the late adulthood, we um, undergo decline stage or the negative. Nga nakanang magkayuko ta, and so on and so forth. So those are the definition of growth, development, and of course, human development. So next... 
we have some principles of human development. So the first principle under principles of human development is that development is relatively orderly. So as what we have observed in the illustration class, oh, from the preterm newborn infants, then newborn infants that is 0 to 28 days, then infants and toddlers that it's 28 days to 23 months, then children 2 to 11 years old, then of course adolescents. What have you observed? So there are certain development and growth happen in every stage that is relatively orderly or chronologically sequential class. Dili pwede nga. Ang bata is um mas maguna siya og lakaw kaysa mukamang so in the principle of development the development should be relatively orderly sequence okay so when you say development is relatively orderly in our example a while ago Kian and Brian will learn to sit crawl then walk before they can run so kato akong giingon nga um sequence jud ang mga development sa mga child class when we were a child Nga mas una jud ta mo sit mo crawl then mo walk dayon before ta makadalagan dili kay mas una ta makadagan kaysa makakaton ta og lingkod mo kamang and mo lakaw okay then under the principle number 1 which is development is relatively orderly we have here the what we call pattern which is called proximodistal pattern. So we say pro proximodistal pattern, the development proceeds from the center of the body then outward. So please observe this example sa infant class o nga ang arrow is from the center of the body then padung siya outward sa ato ang lawas ang development and that pattern is called proximodistal pattern. So, when we say proximodistal pattern class, the muscular control of the trunk and the arms comes earlier as compared to the hands and fingers. So, ang atong development is maguna siya so good with our muscular or the trunk and the arms and mo proceed siya o sa siya mo padung sa mga hands and fingers na to mo develop siya. And that is proximodistal pattern. Then, we have also here the landmarks in motor development. Um, in the, uh, what do you call this one? In the column, we have the different activities or tasks that will be done by each child or children in every stage. And we have here at the bottom, the age of months or years of a child. So, during um, that is... Half month of a child prone le lift head ang kaya sa bata ma kanang dili pa kay siya ka daog sa iyahang ulo. But during the three months sa baby, prone chest up and arm support. So muna na silang mo, mm, mo ubo na dayon, maka chest up na siya and with the support of his or her arms. Then for the um, before sa 3 months, mo roll over ang bata. Then, during sa 4 kapin nga months, bear some weight on legs. So, mauna nang mo action in yung mga babies o um, isa sa ilang paa para in the future niya for how many months, mo hinay na siya o barog. Then, for the 5 months kapin, mo sit na na siya without support. Then, for the 6 months, stands holding on. Then, for the almost 8 months, if he or she pulls self to stand, mukha na na siya gabay-gabay. Then, for the 9 months kapin, muwak na unta na dapat. So, this is the regular development of a child within a specific month or age. So, muwak, holding on to furniture. Dayon, before siya mo one year old, mo stands well alone na dyan na inyo mga babies class. If you do, if you have babies na. Dayon, for one year kapin, that is, mo walks well alone na. Makalakaw na, pila na ka steps ang ma kuan sa bata then And so on and so forth. Magkainay na dyan na, o kadaghan iyang lakang. And makalakaw na dyan na siya by his or her own. Then until mo... Uh, mo try na na siya o grand gamay and so on and so forth. Okay? Then, 
After the proximodal style pattern, we have the other pattern of our development. We have the cephalocodal pattern. So we say cephalocodal, from the word cephalocodal, the development proceeds from the head. So nag start na siya sa ulo, then pa downward. So katong kanihang proximodistal is nag start siya from the center of the body, then outward. While the cephalocodal is, it's the development started from the head, then downward so during infancy the greatest growth always occurs at the top of the head with physical growth in size weight and future differentiation gradually working its way down from the top to bottom from example neck shoulders middle trunk and so on so in our example which is kian and brian these development patterns are also common to the two boys or two children Okay, so please observe this illustration. So, have you observed class? Now, mas nagka bata pa ang bata or fetus, mas daku ang ulo. Then, mas magkatiguang na ang bata or ang child is magkagamay ang ulo kay magpa downward man iyahang um, development. So, mo nang mutaas ta, muniwang ta. Of course, dili kay mutaas ta, tambok. So, look at this fetal, oh. That is a two-month fetal. So, inside the womb pa na sa, sa mother. So, mo ni ang itsura, mas daku ang ulo. Then, nagka five months, nagkataas ang baby, then nagkagamay ang head, then, and so on and so forth. Okay, so that is principle number one. The principle number two is, while the pattern of development is likely to be similar, the outcome of developmental process and the rate of development are likely to vary among the individuals. So, we expected that the pattern of development is likely to be similar through to all children, but please also expect that the rate of development are li likely to vary. So, magkalahilay ato ang gipaspasun sa development. Why? Because there are certain factors that affect the rate of the development of that child. For example, let's take for example, um, for those children who are in good nga um, social um, sani, mga naasila sa nindot nga kahimtang mga dato maka-afford while those child or children nga mm, low income ilang parents dili ka palit og mga vitamins so do you think maka nindot ang development ang rate pas pas ato ang mga ang rate sa development sa child nga dili kaayo dato wala ma-afford nga vitamins so lahi jud ang yang rate of development okay then for the principle number three, the development takes place gradually. So, please observe this illustration class. Oh, our development is um, similarly or gipariya siya sa plant. Why? Because in our example, let's take for example, Kian and Brian. So, Kian and Brian won't develop into pimply teenagers overnight. So, dili man ta agad-agad class no nga. Matao ta there is a world, sa earth, then ikaw maana dalaga na ta or binata na ta kundi it takes months years and so on and so forth so it takes years as what I've said before they become one just like the plant in the picture so in fact that's the way of nature so the bud does not blossom suddenly so like the bud of any flowers dili man na siya diba nga mo blossom din na siya in just one night kundi it needs water, it needs minerals for the, the plant to grow, okay? Then the seed does not ger germinate overnight. So while some changes occur in a flash of insight, more often it takes weeks, months, years for a person to undergo changes that result in the display of developmental characteristics. So that is principle number three, development takes place gradually and the last principle is development as a process complex because it is the product of biological cognitive and social emotional process so when we say development is 
a process which is complex because it is the product of biological, cognitive, and social emotional process, these biological, cognitive, and social emotional processes are inextricably intertwined. So, meaning each processes will really affect each other or will influence each other. So, while these processes are studied separately, the effect of one process or factor in a person's development is not isolated from the other processes. So, kung maapiktaran ng ausang uh, process class or factor, mm, the other processes or factors will also be affected in return. So, in our example, if Kian and Brian were undernourished and troubled by the thought of father and mother about to separate, they could not concentrate on their studies and consequently would fail and repeat. So, if they are not well off, undernourished, Brian and Kian, then um, they are also troubled by the thought that ilang mother and father are, are about to separate. So, they cannot concentrate on their studies and consequently would fail and repeat. So, as a consequence, nga dili sila ka um concentrate sa ilang studies they may also lose face and drop out of school revert to illiteracy so it will result to illiteracy wala na noon si nagipag-aralan become unskilled unemployed and so on and so forth so can you see class how biological process affects the cognitive process which in turn affects the social emotional process of the child Okay, so this is the illustration of how the three processes are interrelated and intertwined with each other. So we have here the whole child, the three processes or factors, the physical, cognitive, and affective. Okay, so we're done with the different principles of human development. So let's proceed with the different approaches to human development. So class, as what I've said a while ago, there are two approaches to human development so the first approach to human development is the traditional approach we say traditional approach the human development shows extensive change from birth to adolescence little or no change in adulthood and decline in the late old age so like for example in the illustration class can you see an extensive change dako ju di ba ang um development nga nausab sa during the birth to adolescence class, no? This first five ka illustration, oh, pictures or clip art. Kaning lima ka bata antud na dalaga siya. So, this shows an ex extensive change from birth. So, dako ang kausaban. While kung mupadulong ka sa adulthood class, the sixth picture until mo late adulthood or late old age, gamay ra or little or no change ra. And that um, approach is called the traditional approach okay then aside from the traditional we have the second approach in human development which is the opposite for traditional lifespan so we say lifespan approach the human development occurs all throughout the lifespan of an individual so dili siya pariha atong traditional class nga extensive or grabi ang um, change from birth to adolescence and little or no change siya sa adulthood to late adulthood. But in lifespan, dili ra kay ni mo mahalata ang change because equally ra ang development and change all throughout the stages. Okay? Then we also have the characteristics of lifespan development for us to um, explain further about the lifespan development. So, the first characteristic of lifespan approach is it is lifelong. So, development under lifespan approach is lifelong. So, when we say lifelong, oh, please observe class the three images nga gibutang dira illustration. Have you observed the eye of the child nagka adulthood siya until late old age? Makita gyapun na to nga maura gyapun ang mata. So, meaning there is um a balance ra from the infant or child until late old age so when we say lifelong 
it does not end by adulthood and no development stage dominates the development. So as, as what I've said, balance ra ang development class. Wala kayo makita nga grabi ang kausaban kundi balance ra siya all throughout the stages. Then the next, um, what do you call this one? The next characteristic of lifespan is it is multidimensional. So we say multidimensional, the development consists of biological, cognitive, and socio-emotional dimensions. So like um, the principle of human development that it is consists of cognitive, biological, and socio-emotional um, processes, also the lifespan approach is multidimensional, meaning multi-many dimensions, not only one dimension yangi. Um, focus but also there are other dimensions of development so we say development in a multi-dimensional class biological processes involve changes in the individual's physical nature so when you say biological processes class or dimension the development involve changes in the individual's physical physically so the brains of kian and brian develop they will gain height and weight, of course. They will also experience hormonal changes, especially when they reach the period of puberty and cardiovascular decline as they approach late adulthood. So those are the different changes that will be observed physically between Kian and Brian as they um, undergo the different stages and all this show the common biological process in development so while we say cognitive processes it involves ch changes in the individual's thought intelligence and language because class we say cognitive it pertains to the mind and brain so that's why kian and brian develop from mere sounds to a word becoming two words so um, beginning jina sa sound sa mga baby no nga mungilak ka ah, mungilak then until mo grow sila magkabalo sila a word then until mahimo ng words not only word nga usa kundi magkadaghan nga word which is which are words then two words becoming singing of lupang ginirang especially maabot na sila sa time nga preschooler or primary Oh, ato na sa eskwilahan, kabalo na mo kanta in every flag ceremony to imagining what it would be like to be a teacher or a pilot, playing chess and solving a complex math problem. And all this reflect the role of cognitive processes in development. And lastly, we have the socio-emotional processes. When you say socio-emotional processes, it includes changes in the individual's relationship with the other people, changes in emotions, and changes in personality. So, let's take, for example, na ni Kian and Brian class. So, as babies, Kian and Brian responded with a sweet smile when affectionately touched and frowned when displaced and even showed temper tantrum when they could not get or do what they wanted. So, mag-change ang mga mood sa ato ang mga child or even babies pa sila. As they grow, they may fall in love. Oh, so, when they reach the stage of puberty, there will be time na ma-fall in love na si Kian and Brian and get inspired for life or may end up betrayed disorted and desperate afterwards. So, all these changes reflect to the role of socio-emotional processes in development. And don't worry, class, because at the end of this week or this delivery, we will um, learn more about the different processes, the physical, um, cognitive, and socio-emotional processes in every level or stage. Okay? Then, the next um characteristic of a lifespan approach is it is plastic so dili para sa yung friends nga plastic class ha kundi development is possible throughout the lifespan so as of course as what i've said a while ago when we say lifespan approach the development is possible throughout the lifespan wala siya ning stop ana nga stage kundi all throughout the lifespan or stages na adjud siya development then we say development is plastic 
No one is too old to learn. So, dili di, di, di na mo, re, mo reason ta class nga, ay, tiguwang na ko, di na ko kabaluan ni nga lessons, kay tiguwang na natayan na. No, because according to lifespan approach, the development is throughout the lifespan. So, whatever your age, pwede jud kayo mo makakat on, because walay edad sa pag eskwela or pag cut on so neither Kia nor Brian will be too old to learn something okay that is plasticity as one of the characteristics of lifespan approach then the other characteristic is contextual development is contextual under lifespan approach we say contextual individuals are changing beings in a changing world so nothing is permanent in this world man class no everything is temporary wala joy permanent individuals are changing beings in a changing world we respond to and act on context so we are now in the 21st century so more on technology so we need to adjust adapt to what is in our environment our biological makeup, social and cultural context may vary, magkalain-lain daw class, and therefore make us develop differently from each other. That is development under lifespan approach as, on sa to class, I'm contextual. And the last Characteristic of lifespan approach is growth, maintenance, and regulation. So, we say growth, maintenance, and regulation class. These are considered goals in that varies in every developmental change. So, as individuals reach middle and late adulthood class, concern with growth gets into backstage while maintenance and regulation takes the center stage. Kagets mo class? When we reach daw the middle and late adulthood, mo, mo backstage daw ang growth because, di ba? Nakakuan mo anak nga, ay, ay nagkuan, ay, kasi katulog kay bainti na ka, di na ka mutubo. Because, under daw sa middle and late adulthood is the maintenance and regulation na daw ang mutik sa center stage instead of growth. So, that's why most of us, mananay mga daghang gipamati, ang dalon is mga um, sana, mga haplas na because as one of the characteristic of lifespan approach, development involves growth, maintenance, and regulation. Kaya dili man ta bata, hantod-hantod, kundi we need to undergo the middle of, and of course, the late adulthood. So, those are the approaches of human development class.